Cerberus to guide the RC car. is clear to the control room. I should head to the control room to turn off that gate. Time to show this security system who's boss.
way too easy. Overriding security, power grid rerouting, accessing laser network, PC load letters shut down in three, two, one, yes. Bentley, what just happened? I'm not sure. I have found the trick some kind of fail-safe backup. Hold on a sec. Murray, we can't wait on Bentley. We won't get past those security cannons, and those rat troopers look serious. Murray, remember to use the circle button to stomp and pick up things. Use the square button to toss those rats, pal. All right, time to kick some rodent butt. Step behind as usual, may you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper, you're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, for Paradox. Oh, no. Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Drat! Celine! Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cave. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double drat. Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold that blimp. So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. Celine. I tried to stop him. You'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm. I'm on, like stink on a skunk. Hello, Cooper. How do you like my food? This is your fault, Cooper. Straight your demise! My own containers look fragile! You'll need to find a way to get across before they break! I can tell if she's playing music or if having a seizure. Look out, Rita! Ha! 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 
This is your funeral march! Dancing to this! Keep dancing! <laughs> You'll never make it, Cooper!
I'll squash you like a hairy bug! Exterminate the rat! This game is finished. How boring. we have already reached maximum weight capacity. Uh, perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get those paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! Who <laughs> are you, filthy, backstabbing, two timing scoundrel? <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? 
In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady, she has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Slade Cooper! Ah well, c'est la vie. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. Le Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestor's canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives.